Oh, don't forget, guys. Also, if you go to the in-store shop, you get a free pack in the shop. It'll say, like, standard pack and then free. So make sure you get that. It's also a free pack. All right. Um, let's see if we can climb legend. Uh, private eye seems good. Do I want to keep sticky situation? It makes private eye worse, but it's good because I know they're going to play spells. Let's try it. Two private eyes? My god. Bone spike means we could technically activate this on form. If you click there, there'll be a thing for free. Are they going to play Spell this turn? They're probably going to Forge this turn. So I think it's better to play Astellar. My favorite Anomaly? That's a good question. Oh my god, they actually did play a Spell. So they don't have Embrace and they want to... They kept three cards. And they didn't draw off the Aquatic Form. Yeah. Unlucky. Um, What is my favorite Anomaly? I don't know. That's a very good question. I can't even think of all of them off the top of my head right now. Wow, this is very good for my opponent. What's my favorite anomaly? I really don't know. I'm just playing one of these. We have Perjury Gravedigger if we want to next turn. They can't really coin Nourish because they mill. I guess they can, but they'll mill. Um, I think the some of the cool ones are... You, uh, you get a coin at the end of your turn if you have unspent mana. I think that one's kind of cool. Because after the first coin, you can always end the turn with a coin, and you always turn a coin into a coin, which makes your Yogg cheaper. I thought that was kind of cool. Queen. Okay. So I could either Bone Spike Private Eye, or I could do the Grave Digger thing. Private side, private eye is pretty good. But I think it's perjury gravedigger. Maybe it's not actually. No, it's not. It's second private eye. Yeah. I want to have more Grave Diggers. And I only have two secrets left in my deck, so it's actually a good time to play the Private Eye. It sucks because it's off mana wise, but the tempo is pretty similar. And I shuffle a card in their hand back in their deck when they already have a full hand, which actually could help them more in this case than hurt them. They did forge the Embrace, so they could play Ignis. I can play Queen this turn, but not the payoff.
Interesting. Let's mill them. This was a weird turn. I did not spend mana very well. Really? That's like the worst possible card for them to lose. Which means they have Lifebinder's Gift in hand. Yikes. I'm glad you like music. I mean, for you people on the VOD, what music? The, the due process is actually kind of troll, but I think it's fine just to mill a card there. If I mill like Ignis, I probably just win the game. Um, but instead we milled Nourish. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. I feel like you might have wanted that. Queen. I can shuffle cards in, offset fatigue, but I don't have to decide yet. Let's do this. Not very helpful. I don't have to do that. That's a beautiful Freya. It's kind of weird because Shadow Steps... Shadow Step's actually really awkward to use on Gravedigger because of the due process. They're just going to draw their whole deck anyways. I think it's actually better not to Shadow Step Gravediggers. I think it's better to Shadow Step like Yogs or Queens. Um, it's also, I mean, they might still be running Ignis, but this is this is Tony Druid, not. Um, I guess do they even run Tony anymore? Wait, isn't Tony? Aren't Tony and Jailer banned? I don't think they revealed any signature cards. Guys, aren't Tony and Jailer banned? Why is this guy running an Ubercon and, and Freya? Only Jailer's banned? Okay. So you can still run Tony. But is that even good? Sometimes they reveal signature cards before all the cards. I think that they did that last expansion, right? Okay. Okay. Still have another grave digger left. I'm currently just winning fatigue though. I think I'm shipping this, seeing what's in the box. It's actually not bad, but my hand's kind of full for that. Wait, is this lethal? No, it's not. I have a lot of steps left, so I'm just going to use this for damage.
They can fray to heal, but that's kind of their whole turn. I can go Queen Weapon, prep Bone Spike Synthesize, which ends up being 6 damage, and then I'll likely just draw another spell that I can use. 8 damage. They run a noob to make combos with Enor and Esler. Okay, I guess that makes sense. You're hoping to go for new Vibon signatures? Well, what we've seen so far is that they're changing at every expansion, right? Based off of the theme. So I'd expect to see something um, different. Because I really do like when they're... They're still unique, but they are different. Right? Like, the the, Lich, the March of Lich King signatures, I, I actually really liked. It just... It felt a little... Weird as the first signature cards, because they seemed a little dreary. Even though that was actually kind of cool for the theme, in my opinion. Um, but I really like when they're changing it to fit the theme of the, it, it makes it a bit more, I guess, busy because like you could be running multiple signatures from multiple different decks and that might be a little extra, but I thought it was kind of cool. this doesn't help me i could yog and just make the whole board attack each other he steals three two goes in there bump bump there's four left over there I don't have to yog I don't need to kill them. They're just going to die to fatigue. So I'm just making sure they can't hit me. You don't get a step as an untouched for 10 years. I talked about it a bit earlier. I don't know if you were here for the, the spiel. It's it's one of Rogue's like core identities. Not that it's Shadow Step particularly, but like tempo stuff. And Shadow Step le does let you do tempo things at the cost of resources, i.e. cards, card advantage. But that's gone away over the years because card advantage... Card advantage has changed quite a bit. You haven't been, you weren't here. Okay. Card advantage has kind of changed because Rogue doesn't really struggle with access to cards anymore. So the cost, so to speak, of Shadow Step has kind of gone away. Uh They need to. They should have gone for one. Maybe they should not have gone for one mana. Basically, if prisoner, if the prisoner lives, I think I have lethal. They have another yog in their deck. Pounces are gone. Rakes are gone. So even if they have a big win for your weapon, it's not really that bad. Do I have lethal somehow? I don't think so. I can steal two things here.
So, oh yeah, I, I didn't finish this thought. Um, I agree that Shadow Step is very strong and very powerful, but I don't necessarily think Shadow Step is the card that needs to be changed. I think if Rogue just actually had resource issues and didn't have easy card generation, then Shadow Step would still be strong, but it would be actually a finite resource. And it's not an infinite resource, but it's it's too easy to, in my opinion. I think they're just dead on board of this. I guess not on board. How do I have zero damage? Nine plus five fatigue. I need two damage. But I have no spells. Surely this will give me a lethal, right? I'm one damage off lethal. Seriously? Well, that sucks. Like, any spell that didn't blow up my own board was fine. <laughs> the restriction was very low. It was just, don't kill my board. Any spell doesn't have to do damage because <laughs> of the death chiller. <laughs> so the game's like, I got you. You said you wanted spells that don't kill your own board. Oh, sorry. It was very confusing. Yogg no balls? I have almost guaranteed lethal if I do this line, so I don't think I need the Yogg. And even if this misses, I'm very likely to still win because they're just fatiguing. Might not be the case anymore, though. I'm just gonna gain armor here. I don't really have spells, so I'm gonna play this so I don't mill my next card. I'm actually likely. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm likely to lose, but I'm starting to lose now because my opponent... Okay. Uh-huh. Fine. Okay. Okay. Yes! Draw cards! Uh-huh. So much has happened from this Yogg. But they're dead to fatigue right now. They take 8 to 9.
right? They take 17. So I just do this and the game ends. Cool. Return Yogg? I don't think so. I don't think so. The first hour you watch, you get two packs. Two hours, you get two packs. Three hours, you get two packs. Four hours, you get two... No, four hours, you get three packs. Cool. Hunter. Prep Bone Spike seems good. Probably not Gravedigger. Potion Belt? Rage of Persia. Thanks for the Prime. Welcome to the Hack Pack. Can we get some claps in chat? Do the morning girl. It's fine. Oh, wow. Guys, do you think this is a good turn? Uh, do you guys think this was a good turn? I think this was a good turn, guys. I love rice. Thanks to Prime as well, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. That was a pretty good turn one. Two secrets, a 3 4, and I killed something. Oh, shit. We got a hype train going. Choo choo. Thanks, Rage of Persia. I used to stream more, but I don't have time to stream as much as I'd like. Tempo Putricide? My opponent isn't good at removing four health minions on turn three. Objection's kind of bad since I know they have four ones, so it's either emergency maneuvers or motion denied. I think I'd like tempo, so I'm going to take emergency maneuvers. I'm going to kill them anyways. I don't need the extra six damage. And I will trade. Like the future side and get some concoctions. I guess they could clear with like um the poison spell and then our, our arcane arrow or like the, the arcane arrow that hits three targets. Um Urchin Spines and Ricochet Shot. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm facing. Celestial shot. Okay. Let's take a quick peek at that hand. Oh, I don't. I don't want you to have that. Um, I'm actually gonna shadow step the future side. I got them to use spells on it, which didn't progress the game plan. Am I replaying it? Their hand is three Dramungers. A Slither Spear, and then what? I think I just replay it. They could theoretically kill it, but if they spend their whole turn killing a 1-4, I'm just killing them. Coin... I played Coin, yes, on turn 1. Okay, they found it. However... We plan for this. We have emergency maneuvers in place. Start with this, see what happens. Okay. Fine, my opponent doesn't have that many minions, so that's a reasonable thing to do there. You've activated my trap card. Do you see what I mean, though? Like, I used a bunch of spells early, which gave me so much tempo, and it didn't matter because I regained so many resources. And that's what's kind of, in my opinion, frustrating. Because if I had done my early game, I'd still be ahead, but then I have card problems. Like, my opponent also has card problems, but that's not the case. Oh, I picked the wrong one there. It's Deal three destroy. 
Great, cool. They don't run star power? Yeah, and star power is also not playable for the first four turns of the game. How many concoctions are too many? Uh, when my opponent leaves, that'll be the answer. Okay, this is too many. 